anti-NATO and anti-EU protests are exploding all across Europe. In Poland, energy bills have increased by a thousand percent. More Italians than ever are calling to leave the EU. The UK's Prime Minister Liz Truss's government is about to implode. And the so-called far-right parties in Europe are absolutely surging. What you're about to see may indeed be the moment when the European continent changes for generations to come. Let's start in Italy, where over the weekend we saw massive protests erupting in virtually all major Italian cities. This one in Rome carried the banner, NATO and EU, leave us alone. And that's a sentiment that's growing throughout the nation. Skyrocketing costs of living, together with record unemployment and recession, has more Italians than ever questioning the EU's monetary policies and NATO's military policies. And in the midst of this anger, Europe's right-wing parties are absolutely absolutely surging. As I'm sure you all know, Georgia Maloney led Brothers of Italy to a massive victory in their national elections just a few weeks back. And as Maloney will not be sworn in as prime minister for another few weeks, the populist anger and resentment that helped elect her and her right-wing coalition continues to fester and grow throughout the nation, promising that this latest election was but the first of many more populist revolts in Italy to come. But in many respects, what's happened in Italy is tame compared to what's happening in France. Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators have come out across the nation in protest of the EU's greenflation policies, as well as NATO's provocation of war against Russia. Police were called in to break up protests where people chanted slogans such as resist and Frexit, which is a call for France to leave the EU as Britain did with Brexit, a call that's becoming more and more popular by the day. In addition to the general protests, French trade unions are staging a massive nationwide strike as we speak, demanding higher salaries to match the surging inflation that's crippling so many households. The net result are waves of protest and resentment against the Macron regime, demanding relief from the skyrocketing food prices, energy bills, and cost of living. Needless to say, Macron's poll numbers are utterly plummeting. And so it's no coincidence that more and more French are turning right and they're turning to the Patriot Party national rally. Macron was recently dealt a massive blow in France's own national elections as his En Marche coalition and Marche's Macron's party lost their absolute majority in the lower house of parliament to a massive surge from Marine Le Pen's national rally. National rally made huge gains, what France 24 called historic gains in winning nearly a hundred seats in the French Parliament, a gain that given the current circumstances promises to be just the beginning. Hey gang, we take care of each other here on this channel and our good friends over at Gold Co. are here to help protect your savings in the midst of all of this economic insanity with the timeless value of gold and silver. They're patriots just like us and they're here to help guard and save your assets. Make sure to click on that link below and see how you can get upwards of $10,000 of free silver if you open up an account with them. But that is a limited time offer, so don't wait. Click on that link below right now and keep your assets safe with the timeless value of gold. In Brussels, the capital of the EU, protesters have come out demonstrating against EU green policies inspired by the World Economic Forum that are killing the farming industry. Moreover, rising food prices, startling energy bills, and a total and complete frustration with tone-deaf politicians who appear more interested in ruling according to their own interests and concerns at the expense of the interests and concerns of the people has caused tens of thousands to take to the streets. And this total loss of confidence in their own politicians is causing more and more particularly Flemish people to turn to the so-called far right, the nationalist populist right. The anti-EU patriot party known as Vlaams Belong continues to surge in popularity. It remains the single most popular party in Flanders, which is itself the most populous region of Belgium, accounting for about 60% of its population. And if these trends continue, the next election may prove to be even more earth-shattering than their previous when Vlaams Belang made such massive electoral gains. Throughout the nation of Germany, protests have absolutely erupted against their government, the EU, and NATO. The cost of living is becoming 
absolutely unbearable in a nation that's currently governed by a left-wing green coalition that's seen by an increasing number of Germans as ultimately responsible for the greenflation that continues to ravage their standards of living. Again, it's no coincidence that the Nationalist Populist Party, the Alternative for Germany, or the AFD, is absolutely surging in popularity. They are now the single most popular party in all of Eastern Germany, and they promise to absolutely storm the German parliament in the next election. So what are we seeing here? Well, in short, Europe is going through a massive and yes, very painful transition. It's the same transition that the entire world is going through. We're seeing the end of the old liberal globalist order as it sputters out of energy, quite literally, and the rise of a new political order that's increasingly characterized by a massive return, a return to national sovereignty, culture, custom, and tradition. European patriot parties are absolutely surging in the midst of this chaos, and as more and more come to power, they promise to smash globalist enterprises and remake the political order in Europe, and in doing so, they will indeed be remaking the political order for the world as well. For you podcast fans, our brand new Turley Talks podcast has made it to the 14th most downloaded podcast for American news on Apple Podcasts, but you can help us actually become number one by simply clicking on that link below and subscribing to my podcast. You can listen on Apple, Spotify, iHeart, Amazon, you name it. So make sure to click on that link below and subscribe, download my podcast, and let's make it to number one together as always can make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button you'll definitely want to check out my latest video i just uploaded it on sweden finally revealing who destroyed the nord stream pipeline you're not going to want to miss it so make sure to click on that link and i'll see you over there god bless <laughs>